So, does anyone remember when I said this? Honestly, was anyone just a little bit disappointed that there was no new opening for this episode? Yeah, there's finally a new opening, and it fucking kits ass. So, this week in Fairy Tale number 29, episode 29 of 2014, it is another filler, of course, as we are in a major filler arc. And this episode put me to fucking tears. It wasn't necessarily the worst episode ever created. Hell, that lobster episode a few weeks ago was far worse. But in this episode, hardly anything remotely interested happened. The main gist of the episode is that Lucy and Yutino go to um, a place or a summit for whatever reason and each summon the celestial spirits to thank them for, um, for basically saving their asses during the entire, uh, during the entire, uh, Magic Games arc. Do you remember that scene when they all twined together and closed the doors? So apparently Lucy and Yukino want to thank all of, all of their celestial spirits for doing so by summoning them, by summoning them and then asking what they desire. And it was just one wizard, uh, one celestial spirit after the other and that's pretty much it. It was essentially more, um, a comedy episode rather than anything else and I'm fine with that. But the only problem with this episode is that the comedy, for me anyway, it was kind of lackluster and there were not many scenes that really made me laugh or even chuckle at, at all really. Probably the only thing that made me laugh or smile at least was the scene when they summon Arius I believe and then she says that she wants a tan because she's always so fluffy and Natsu proceeds to fucking um, set her on fire and gives her a tan. That's the only part of this episode I actually really enjoyed. Aside from that, it's just Lucy in the fucking outfit yet again, tiny short skirt, huge bust. She's just standing there, summoning her celestial spirits one after the other. They do whatever, a certain immediate moment happens, and then they vanish. We get Loti again, who hits on Yuchino. That was okay, I, I guess, and how the part where he pretty much just um, blows Natsu away twice. I like that bit, I admit I like that bit as well, but honestly, for this entire episode, there's not really much to talk about. All it was, was as I said, just the two freaking celestial wizards summoning their celestial spirits and asking what they want. That's pretty much it. And the main reason why I found this episode boring was just because the jolts were really dull and nothing really happened. It's just the same thing over and over again. They summon Scorpio, then they summon, um... The fucking uh, horse guy, then they summon um, Aquarius, and even every time it's just. Nah. Essentially, what was wrong with this episode was just the repetitiveness of the episode, and that the jokes as a whole weren't really that good. It, it was okay, um, but I just honestly felt bored throughout the entirety of it. Lackluster music, animation was subpar, I guess. It was alright. But thank god that next week's episode, we are finally getting some plot. As in, not that plot, actual plot. I was told that the author of Fairy Tale is also going to be doing the character designs for this arc. And from what I've seen from uh, the preview clip next episode, it looks like Virgo, I guess? And maybe the, maybe the Celestial Spirits have, um, you know, Celestial Spirits have gone bad or something's happened to them. And perhaps this is why this episode was needed, I guess? But, for this episode, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10, I guess. It was okay. You can skip it if you want, it's filler. I wasn't expecting too much anyway. But overall, it was just a really dull episode in my opinion. And, uh So, thank you for watching my video. New videos every single Saturday for Manda Chapter Reviews and the latest Fairy Tale episode as well. And every Sunday for an anime review. Unfortunately, next week, there will be no new Man Chapter Reviews or episode reviews as I'm going to Comic Con. And if you wish to join me in comic uh, and you live in London, then feel free to join up with me if you do see me and you do recognise me because I'm only a thousand subscribers after all. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>